uh, talk about something about di minority music in, Ch in Yunnan province. Um, actually, when I was uh, doing bachelor degree, um, I studied in Yunnan province, and um, uh, there are different minorities in Yunnan, um, and Dai minority is a special minority, and um, it it is in two places in Yunnan. Uh, the first of all, first of all, is Dehong. As you can see here, Guohong State, and another one is uh, Xishuang Banna. Today, I will talk about the uh, minority music in Guohong. So, okay. yeah. China, hmm. as we can as as we can see, there are fifty five minorities in China, and in Yunnan, twenty five minority. The majority of minorities in Yunnan. And okay, this is uh, this is a Yunnan province map. The home is here. As we can see, it's in a, a southwest border, and also Sino Sino Burmese um, border area. And uh, we can analyze the uh, geographical environment. The climate in Gehong is a subtropical monsoon climate, especially in summer, it's quite hot and rainy. And the elevation in the Gehong state uh, is from 800 to 2100 meters, it's quite changeable. And um, other, other elements is um, now it's uh, mountainous and rivers, a lot of rivers uh, in, in the Gehong. So, apart from the natural um, natural elements, we can analyze some culture. It has its own um, language and characters, which means di dialect. Yeah, this is a di characters. It's similar, like uh, um, similar to the Thai Thai uh, language. Yeah. And about the clothes. Um, the male clothes, as you can see here, they usually use the um, different colors uh, cloths to wrap the head, and the uh, clothes is a uh, uh, long sleeves, and um, the trousers without pockets usually. Uh, it's quite simple. It's quite simple. And the females, females, the uh, the clothes are changeable. Um, but usually they like to wear the uh, gorgeous colors clothes uh, with the long skirts, so long. And also the uh, blouse is uh, like this, as you can see. And also the females, they, keep, uh, they love to keep the uh, long hair um, and then tie the uh, long hairs at the top of the head and use some of the uh, d different things uh, as uh, decorations, like uh, flowers and combs, yeah. And one of the most important culture is religious belief. Uh, they believe the uh, Southern Buddhism. And it influenced a lot into the uh, uh, music. Um, <coughs> in seventh century, it was introduced from uh, India. And then, after a long development, the Southern Buddhism um, influenced uh, a lot into different aspects of people's life. And in this, um, in this belief, people believe that good is more than bad. And they, they have the optimistic attitude rather than the negative. So you can see um, these things, this kind of belief, influence the music to make the to make the music like most. Of, you can see the pure purity and happiness, goodness in the music. Okay, I will show. I will show later. And then um, uh, some scholars, some scholars mentions that. Uh, there are kind of a certain internal relation, relation between the uh, uh, 
Buddhism, the southern Buddhism and the uh, Thai minority music. As we can see, especially the lack of emotional tension and power performance, just because of, we mentioned before, the uh, joy is more than sorrow, peace is more than instability. So there have this kind of a relationship. And then it's about, it's about the uh, Southern Buddhism, so the knowledge, the view of knowledge and the uh, uh, value, like the lack of enterprising and the struggle spirit. So now we can analyze the Thai music. In Thai music, there are two types. Um, one of them is a folk music and another one is a religious music. And folk music, there are five types. Um, today I will focus on the folk songs. Yeah. Now we can have a look about the uh, uh, folk songs, the cultural characteristics. They usually like to use some poetic lyrics and some beautiful melody to express their, um, their, their emotions into the lives, uh, into love, into happiness of life, and the, uh, uh, sometimes they praise the natural scenery. And also, the lyrics, the lyrics and the, uh, the lyrics are changeable, uh, and the words are changeable too. So, um, in the brief, the people, some scholars summaries that the soft natural plane, these things are um, the Thai music's characteristics. And also, it's related to um, Thai people's characters. And even the formation. Um, it's really, and also um, there are there are a lot of uh, elements related to the uh, music formation, Thai music formation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I will talk about the folk song in Luohong, especially a kind of a genre of it is Han Ma Le Jie. Um, well, Han Ma, uh, actually Han Ma Le Jie is a uh, um, Thai language, it's a Thai language, and Han Ma in Thai language means uh, folk songs, it's a folk song, and especially they like to use, people like to use a uh, song, it, sing it in the fields and the suburbs. And Han Ma, there are two types, there are two types of Han Ma. One of them is Le Jie, Han Ma Le Jie. It's people like uh, usually sing it in the cities and towns. And another one is uh, Le Mo, Han Ma Le Mo. It's popular, it's very popular in villages. But in terms of the characteristics of uh, the music, um, I mean the music culture, it's, as you can see, it's a soft lyrical and recitatives. Recitative, uh, that is, uh, people sometimes uh, use different lyrics, uh, different, um, yeah, different lyrics uh, into the same tune. And um, the uh, Lomo is uh, optimistic, plain and simple, it, which means it's quite uh, straightforward. Mm, but now, I, I will focus on Hama Lejie. So now we can have a look about the music, musical characteristics. Han Ma Le Jie usually they uh, they just use a pentatonic scale, especially uh, without the semitonic, and the music range is quite uh, quite narrow. Um, usually in the octave, in an octave, yeah, in the melody. Um, when it comes to the melody, it's quite smooth and um, sometimes uh, with uh, uh, 
mainly with uh, steps, small steps and um, small jumps like do, re, re, mi, la, do. Uh, but this, just because of this kind of characteristic, so it lacks some dynamic property in the music. Um, and also, sometimes they usually uh, they, they want to, uh, they, uh, sometimes they would use the um, five degree uh, five degrees or seven degrees jumps, but it's just occasional. Okay. Also, in the melody, as I said, the pentatonic scale they usually like to use it, but um, uh, usually they use major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, and suspended pentatonic. Um, the major, yeah, major pentatonic, do, re, mi, so, la, do, and the minor, la, do, re, mi, so, la, and suspended, re, mi, so, la, do, re. Um, but it's not very stable. It's not very stable about the uh, uh, melody I mean the modes uh, in one piece of music. Sometimes there are some alternations. Uh, they will use the uh, uh, st start from minor scale and uh, end of the uh, uh, major scale. So this kind of change. And also you can see the minor to blues major, downfall, down, downward, that you can see uh, it means can make the music tender and uh, soft, uh, and soft. And there's a there's a special uh, there's a special characteristic which is uh, grace note. Um, in music, we have the trill, uh, like T R and the shaking waves. Uh, it means like do re do re do re. But in this Mm, in this piece of, uh, in this kind of music, by music, the trill, this symbol, it doesn't mean that. It, it means long last, uh, it, it's kind of a long last uh, vibrations, and, um, and also it's just a with, um, within a semitone, like, oh, oh. This. You can feel the um, clearly change within different tones, different pitches. Just the, it's on the pitch. Okay, if you don't understand, I will sing. I will sing it later. And another decoration is glide. Like um, from down, downwards, slide down or slide. Um, slide up, but usually, like they use the uh, slide down. Okay. When it comes to music structure, the structure usually is um, short or simple, just a, a piece, a piece of. Uh, sometimes they just is a paragraph rather than a. Uh, the whole, like our music, is a whole music, uh, like four minutes or so, uh, or longer. They just a piece, like, okay, yeah. And but the um, structure can be changed. Sometimes it's changeable. Um, like as you can see, it's use use a different form. So sometimes it's a single section. Sometimes it's a suits. But um, uh, the music can be changed by different ways, like repeating, repeating the different, uh, repeating the pieces, uh, or uh, or change a little some uh, some music, some pitch, some notes. Then uh, then just uh, repeat it again. Um, so. This kind of uh, this kind of uh, ways of writing music can make the die folk music um, with a free freestyle free structure. 
yeah. And also, um, the music can be changed uh, with a different uh, with different num uh, words, with different lyrics, uh, but in the same tune, as we said, the uh, recitative. So this is a, uh, a piece of Hama uh, Lejie. Okay, Hama Lejie is a genre. You can, you can know it. Now, we can have a look first. I mentioned that uh, the melody changed uh, just with steps and the, uh, some small jumps, like this. And also, occasionally, it has the big jumps. Yeah. And the structure is quite simple. But this here, 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 this kind of uh, symbol that's just that uh, I mentioned before. And this is a uh, glide. Now, when I sing it, you can feel the um, especially the decorations. You can feel the decorations. And um, the music, um, um, is it the tone quality, you can feel that. And pay attention to some of the uh, glide. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> popular music and other um, for other countries music come so uh, it's in the marginalized position well um, although Chinese government has uh, adopted different ways to uh, help to protect uh, minority music um, and also develop it you can see it put money, put different, uh, use different ways, like school, university offers, it offers different <laughs> course, the course of like, music. Uh, and, but we still need to think about how to prep, protect it, and how to develop it, and how to balance, how to balance the different music, how to balance the uh, uh, new culture, new music culture, and the uh, minority, traditional minority music. Um, well, I think there are, um, of course, the music is just a kind of uh, a one minority music, but um, there are 
there are the same situations in all over the world in different uh, minorities music. So I, 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 I believe everyone should think about that, should think about that deeply. So how to, how to protect and how to develop our music culture, um, how to yeah, how to balance it. So, okay. Actually, for uh, for the slides and for the uh, research about the dance music, this is a this is quite a sim uh, important scholar. Mm, can you help? Yeah. The uh, most of the resources are from uh, his uh, first-hand resource, so it's quite helpful. Difficult to explain, but um, if you have any questions, yeah. Any questions from the floor? I have a question. Yeah. Um, what's the? Is there a connection between the melody and the words? Uh, I mean, for instance, do you sing? Yes, of course. One note per one note per syllable. You know, is it one note per syllable of word or? Is there, a, is there a convention about this? Um, actually, uh, the lyrics, the, the, the words, is quite difficult. Uh, it's, um, also, of course, it's related to the uh, words and the lyrics. Um, there are four or seven sy syllabus, four or seven syllabus in one one sent uh, one sentence. Can you uh, when I said when I send it, could you um, figure that the uh, every sentence? Um, like okay, dun, 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 dun. Actually, it's a short sentence. Okay. And then the first uh, the first sentence, you can feel there are um, dun, 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 dun. there are four. Syllabus, and sometimes there are seven syllabus. Of course, I when I when I read when I read the uh, sources, I I I, uh, I, uh, I I I get some I got some information about the uh, syllabus, but um, but when I checked it on the different pieces of the dance music, I don't think it's just about four or seven. It's not stable. Sometimes there are eight. Sometimes there are uh, seven. Some yeah, the number is uh, changeable. And also, um, in terms of the uh, language, I mean the pronunciation itself. Uh, I think it has a kind of a no no sound. It has no sound. It's in the uh, inside. It's not like the uh, Mandarin. So, um, um, <laughs> um, so uh, when I if I write the lyrics, it's just a Thai language. So uh, there are actually when I learned the uh, music, um, the tutor the tutor didn't give us uh, give us the uh, um, language and uh, the characters. So uh, I asked her. I uh, heard she just uh, mentioned that the uh, uh, this this piece of music they just uh, to record uh, they just uh, record recording the music and didn't didn't write down the lyrics, but just uh, uh, okay. Everyone, if you want to study it, you just learn it through listening to the record and to imitate the uh, words imitate the language, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, does this mean that you don't know what the song is about? Uh, so, seeing what more the, about it. What is the subject matter of the song? What, what, what's it about? S subject, the song. This, this piece of music? Uh, well, it doesn't have an uh, exact name. It's just mm. it's just It's a genre. It's a genre. Yeah, I understood yeah. that, but yeah. the, the words that you're singing, 
do they not have any meaning? What, what, what do they... Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, uh, I should mention them. Yeah, um, it means, it means the uh, people, uh, people are expressing the, uh, uh, how to say, the, uh, their emotion or their happiness of life. Because, um, uh, yeah. Uh, in the in the different music, people usually like to uh, express the uh, love, uh, express the, uh, uh, their feeling of the natural scene, different natural scene, and um, uh, sometimes they like to use, uh, express the uh, uh, how to say, the happiness, the ha their happiness from the heart, yeah, from the bottom of the heart, and in this piece. It's just about the happiness in the daily life, yeah. So um, it's a, it's a kind it's a form of kind of a improvisation, yeah. It's a form of improvisation and then developed it. And when I when, when my tutor went to the uh, that minority, uh, and um, she recorded recorded the music and asked just asked them to, what's the meaning of it. Because it's quite it's quite difficult to translate it sentence one sentence one by one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's uh, different. <laughs> so. Good. Any other questions? So. Yeah. Yes, Tom. Would it normally be sung unaccompanied, without instruments? No. No. Not really. Uh, what instruments would be used? I see. They play. Do you know Hu Lu Si? Uh, wow. <laughs> it's okay. Um, in Dai minority, yeah. they live in uh, with a lot of the uh, uh, vegetables, especially yeah. the bamboo. Yeah. So people uh, was, lives in uh, lives in the bamboo house okay. and also use bamboo to make the instruments. Okay. And also sometimes. Uh, what's the word? Hulu. Hulu. Like, the, like this shape. Do you know it? It's a round and um, like, like it's a like gourd. a bottom. Sorry. Like a gourd. I think it's round. Uh, yeah, round. Like a vegetable. But with two, uh, yeah, it's like, like a pumpkin or something. Like pumpkin, yeah. 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 It's like a vegetable, yeah. yes. Yeah, vegetable. Yeah, it's like, like a gourd. Yeah. And you use it. It yeah. looks, uh, and uh, if you just uh, cut it, yeah. and you see the um, mm, uh, the shape, it's yeah. just a flat shape. It looks like a guitar, like yes. this, yes. Uh, yeah, like this shape. And then you use the bamboo, bamboos to three bamboos yeah. um, to uh, uh, plug it into the uh, yeah. The, yeah. the, the, the good. Yeah, the good. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> the good. <laughs> okay. yeah. And and then uh, we just can blow it. Okay. It looks, yeah, it's a kind of a, it's a, a it's a kind of a particular okay. instrument. Okay. Yeah, and the, then uh, the sound of the instrument is um, how to say it's a smooth, it's okay. smooth and um, very uh, it's. The, the sound is so soft. It itself is so soft. Yeah. So uh, that's a particular okay. instrument of it. Yeah. Okay. I think we've learned a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you.